Hi, Dave Lee here, commercial aviator, thermographer, and part 107 drone pilot. In this episode of FLIR Delta, we're going to talk about color palettes, the different coloring schemes used to depict thermal images. If you remember back to our Thermal 101 video, we talked about how infrared or thermal energy is part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's invisible energy that is around us all the time, but we can't see it because our eyes aren't sensitive to those wavelengths of energy. Since we can't see it, Thermal cameras need to apply what's called false color in order to make pictures of the energy that we can understand. Different colors or shades of gray are assigned to different intensities of infrared radiation and those in turn make the videos and images we work with. But not all color palettes are well suited for every situation. In fact, some color palettes can even make your job harder or even hide what you're looking for. So let's take a look. The most basic color palettes are white hot and black hot. As the name implies, in white hot, the object in the scene giving off or reflecting the most infrared radiation will be white. The object giving off the least infrared will be black, and everything in between will be a shade of gray. The opposite is true for black hot. Lots of operators think that white hot and black hot are simply negative images of each other, but they're not. There's enough of a difference that often one palette can reveal things you'd miss with the other. If you're looking at a scene that is heavily solar loaded, meaning that you're looking at objects that have absorbed a lot of solar radiation, it may be hard to make out subtle temperature differences in white hot because the scene looks washed out. But if you switch to black hot, things can be easier to make out. If you've seen the video we did on lens and resolution comparisons, you'll remember that we compared the maximum detection ranges of each configuration using white hot polarity. What you didn't see is that we shot the same comparisons in black hot and other color palettes and that black hot outperformed the others by far. So white hot and black hot should be your go-to choices when the detection of small, faint heat differences is your primary goal or when operating in really challenging environmental conditions with lots of heat and humidity. They have been proven effective for decades in airborne search and rescue and other public safety applications. How about the palettes with actual color in them? like Fusion, Arctic, Lava, and Ironbow. They're cool looking, but what are they for? Fusion and Ironbow are good all-around color palettes, especially when looking at roofs, solar panels, and outdoor electrical equipment. Lava and Arctic are designed to enhance contrast by placing contrasting colors next to each other. From a drone operator's perspective, these high contrast color palettes will give the best results when the object of interest fills enough of the screen to let you take advantage of that color separation but be careful using them in search or public safety missions. Finding a person at the edge of detection range may actually be harder with these palettes than with white hot or black hot unless there is a significant temperature difference between the target and their surroundings. The big operational consideration is whether you're gathering data you're going to analyze later, like in most thermographic inspections, or if you need to make real-time decisions based on what you're seeing in the moment. If you're capturing radiometric stills that you're going to analyze later in FLIR tools, your choice of the color palette you use in flight isn't as critical because you can change the palette and tune your images later on. But if you need to make decisions based on the imagery you're gathering in the moment, especially in SAR missions, but also in applications like livestock and wildlife management, your choice in color palette becomes much more critical. And high contrast palettes aren't the best option. To get the most out of your thermal camera, you'll need to practice and experiment flying in different conditions and looking at different target types to learn what works best in the conditions you typically operate in. Color palette selection needs to be part of that practice. We'd like to thank our friends at Aerodrone Academy for the help in producing this video. Check out their link in the description. Thanks for watching this episode of FLIR Delta. Keep checking back for new episodes and free helpful downloads at flir.com delta. Fly safe, I'll see you next time.